This is Nine News. A grisly find in a suburban Perth home, the body of an elderly woman believed to have been dead for months. Crime reporter Rob Scott is in Beckenham. Greg, Ida Mazza lived in this home behind me here on uh, Jubilee Street for more than 50 years. It's also where she died. Police suspect that was way back in May. The 79-year-old shared the home with her mentally disabled son, who police fear may have been living here all that time with his mother's body. Tonight, he's with detectives helping with their investigation. From the outside, it's a normal suburban home. But until yesterday, this modest house kept a dark secret. Inside, the decaying body of 79-year-old Ida Mazza. Police believe she's been dead for six months and that no one except her mentally disabled son, Robert, knew. Robert had actually said that his mother was in a nursing home. Police suspect Robert, who'd only recently been in hospital, may not have understood his mother had died. It wasn't until the 57-year-old returned with a carer yesterday to collect some clothes that her body was discovered. Initially, Robert Mazza told the carer to wait outside, but she insisted on going in. It was only then that Ida Mazza's badly decomposed body was discovered sitting in a chair in the lounge room. Neighbours say over the past few months, Robert refused to leave the house, except to beg for food. He was asking me for food, yeah, because uh, he's very hungry and he doesn't have money. Vanessa Chang's husband even went inside the house about two months ago, but didn't notice anything unusual. The house inside was immaculate. Um, it was like stepping back in time. Mrs Chang also contacted several welfare groups, but none of them would help Robert without a referral from a GP. This shouldn't be happening. We need to provide services to people, even if they are hard to reach people. Detectives believe Ida Mazza died of natural causes, but a post-mortem will be carried out tomorrow. Rob Scott, Nine News.